Well, we're joined now by one of the people organising the massive volunteer operations that are going on to support people in that enormous queue on the way to see the Queen lying in state. CJ Ledger is Deputy Commissioner of the Scouts. And of course, CJ, we would expect uh, you and your volunteers to be extremely well prepared. How many people have you managed to rally to the cause? So um, um, it's such an honour for the Scouts to be involved in such a special and an important occasion. Um, we've got over 120 18 to 25 year old Scouts on the ground helping in the queues and a support team of about 50 further adult volunteers and staff who are supporting behind the scenes, making it all happen. Um, yeah, we've, had, we've been planning for a while and it was a privilege when we got the call last week to, to ask and to be involved and to support the people who are queuing. What exactly are they doing? What are the duties of the volunteers? So we've got um, Scouts involved in three main areas. Uh, firstly, we're supporting people with the accessibility queue. So people who have additional requirements to make sure that they have an equal um, ability to, to take part in the lying in state. Um, and that's everything from supporting with wheelchair access and uh, British Sign Language uh, translators and all sorts of different accessibility requirements. We're also over the river um, at Archbishop's Park where the bag drop facility is. And again, helping people um, who've got large luggage uh, to keep that secure and safe um, whilst they're in the final part of the queue. And then where the bulk of our volunteers are, are is in the last part of the queue in, in Victoria Park Gardens. And lots of different things there from welfare requirements to um, getting people ready to go through security. Um, and one of the things that as people get ready to go through, they will need to do is make sure they don't have any liquids or food in their bags. Um, so we've been collecting up lots of liquids and foods. Um, and actually, because there's been so much food collected on open packets of, uh, and snacks and things, um, this morning we made an arrangement with one of the local food banks. We got in touch with the Phoenix Project, project uh, to make sure that all of that unopened food doesn't go to waste. And uh, our morning shift, which have just come off duty, collected over 40 bags of food this morning. So we're really proud also to be helping others in the community as well. What an excellent way of disposing of food that nobody wants. Um, I mean, these are quite big responsibilities for young people. How can keen were they to take part? Uh, we had the we sent the call out on Friday evening and by Saturday lunchtime we had over 500 18 to 25 year olds from across the UK who were really keen to get involved and support so it, it was quite a hard and tough job to make the decision to uh, to, to choose 120 to come forward but we, we tried to spread that out so we've got people from across the UK all of our English uh, counties in fact one of our scouts who's a British scout overseas in Luxembourg has even flown into travel so they arrived uh, in London on Tuesday morning Monday night into Tuesday morning so we could do some training and pre preparation with them um, and then we've had them on on shift from 7 a.m yesterday morning uh, in groups of 40 with 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 several other volunteer support leaders as well and of course the queues are round the clock so how, how long are the support is the support available from the volunteers yeah, so we've we're, we've been on shift since 7 a.m. yesterday morning, just before the queue opened, and we'll be on shift right through until after um, 7 a.m. on Monday morning when the official lying in state uh, public queues close. Um, so we've got a three shift rota for eight hours on duty in London and then making sure people are fed and they've got time to sleep and um, have got accommodation just outside London in our national headquarters of Gilwell Park. So lots of preparation happening back there, making sure that, as I say, they've got all food, food prov provided throughout the day uh, by a brilliant team and also people to wash their uniforms and keep it ironed. So a lovely a group of people who are keeping everyone nice and smart and tidy as well. Gosh, you think of everything. You really do. Um, now, I know from my own experience in the, the, the brownies uh, that um, organisations like yours are very good at, at giving people awards, certificates, badges when they perform acts of service like this. I mean, how are you going to recognise the efforts that these young people have made? Oh, well, it's a, it's a great question. I, I, there is part of it which, you know, we all promise as members of the Scouts to, to do our duty to the, to the Queen and, and now the King and to help other people. So it's just part of what we do. However, of course, we, we want to recognise all of those who have gone above and beyond at this really important and special time for the country. So I don't want to give too much away at the moment, but yeah, we are working on a number of different things to make sure that all those who've been involved both in London, but also at local events which have been organised 
organised by the Lord Lieutenancies and councils, which have also had scouts involved across the UK, um, we're able to recognise everyone who's had a part in this very important time. Well, if it's a badge, I'm sure it'll be worn with pride. CJ Ledger, uh, Deputy UK Chief Commissioner of the Scouts, thank you very much for talking to us and uh, good luck to all of them. And uh, keeping all of those uniforms neat and tidy is no mean feat. Thank you. Watching uh, BBC News, it's half past three. A Ukrainian government advisor says around a thousand dead bodies have been found. In